And we are live. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, happy time zones wherever you might be. I'm Emma and welcome back to Lamilana 2, now on part 6. You'd, you'd swear I'd write these tweets and then they'd remain in my mind for more than 10 seconds. Yes, this is part 6. I, yeah, let's go with that. If you remember last time, we got stuck and had to look at a guide, but also we killed Kajata and got the Jab Pillar, and now we can do mantra puzzles, and we found the Immortal Battlefield now, and the Ice Fire Treetop, and all kinds of cool stuff. So let's continue looking into all of that, shall we? And also it's Saturday, and you know what that means. It means... First of all, we're going to do some reading. But I might warp somewhere else because this music is too dramatic to read to. <laughs> so, do we still have the. We still have the prayer gate we tagged as a warp point, so that's nice at least. Now, let's go to the Ice Fire Tree Top. I can't remember what the music was like there. Even more dramatic, got it. Battlefield. That's, that's some background I can read to. Let's take a, a look through what we've turned up, shall we? I'll just read the new ones, obviously, otherwise we'd be here all day and I'd be saying a lot of stuff I've already said. So, going back to the roots of Yggdrasil, we went Veli. This weirdo, Billy was once a sage. Those who remain at the roots of Yggdrasil were exiled further away than most in Eglana. In his solitude, Billy has begun to crumble in both body and mind. Wait, how is that further away than most of Eglana when the roots of Yggdrasil are the field that connects to Lamilana? Question mark. Karabok we already read about. Thanks, game. All the stuff in Anu that we haven't read. Apsaras. A spirit that takes the form of a beautiful dancer. Apsaras are said to wake the souls of the dead with their dance and manipulate them at will. They're also said to impede the training of any human who seeks the power of the gods. So, be warned, I guess, if that's a thing you're into. Odonto Tyrannos. It's just Greek for tooth tyrant. Bizarre fish with three buffalo-like horns sprouting from their heads. It is a bizarre fish, that's true. Their bodies are encased in hard scales, and they can walk on land with the legs of a land-dwelling animal. Some say they can swallow an elephant whole. And also, all of this taxonomically makes them not fish. <laughs> Makara. Ah, that's quite good art, though. A bizarre fish with a long nose like an elephant's trunk. They keep this nose curled up, striking out when they spot an enemy. Their small legs give them just enough strength to crawl about on land, though some are said to have sturdy, powerful legs. <sighs> Weird flex. Hanuman. Hanuman is a monkey demon said to have received the powers of Thor. There's your Lamilana, very Lamilana sentence. Highly aggressive, he freely commands storms using his special staff. This is the original from which the Lamilana Hanuman was replicated by the philosophers using the Tree of Life. Just get that in for people being like, oh, why was it in the first game as well? Behemoth. The Behemoth is a bipedal, elephant-like monster. A master of yoga, he can solidify his flesh, float upwards, and stretch his body. Those two clauses are not connected. Pro tip, you cannot in fact do any of those things by doing yoga. This is the original from which the Lamilana version was copied. The original is far thinner than the copies, who became fat in their depravity. While we are all about the continuity today. Tog. Tog is an amorphous creature with the head of a frog. He relentlessly appears from stone faces carved into the ruins. This is the original from which the Tog found in the Lamilana ruins was copied. This original Tog is far more aggressive than his copies, and he inflates himself to guard against attacks. Also, yeah, this is just justifying why we have the same enemies, but now they have some new abilities, isn't it? Frey, the weirdly intense. King of the Alpha tribe of six children. Frey was made king at the time of their creation, but over many long years his body has weakened. 
He planned to rebel against the Mother for destroying multiple civilizations, but in his declining strength he can barely stay on top of his enemies in Eglana. Furlispau Furlispau is a seeress, with powers of foresight that are rare even among fairies. It was her prophecy that spurred the Alpha into rebelling against the Mother. The prophecy was told in a roundabout, convoluted way to avoid hints of mutiny. The prophecy seems to have spread to the various races in this distorted form, and we've got three parts of it saved. And it's no help whatsoever at the minute. Tim. With a duck. A low life. Well, happy to sell on items he stole, or happened to pick up. Be careful not to let your memento of a certain someone get ripped off. Okay. Onto the immortal battlefield, and there's this happy boy. It's a commander. Kabanda is a headless monster, its eyes and mouth on its body. Originally a spirit named Gandalf, who launched an attack from Valhatla, he challenged the local parlor leader Indra, only to have his head beaten firmly into his own body. But he's still very happy about it. El Baul Soldiers of the Lokapala race of six children. Created solely for the purpose of fighting, they are not very intelligent. They make up for this by summoning allies when an enemy is spotted, attacking them full force. They guard the central area of the immortal battlefield, stronghold of the Locker Parlor. They also make up for it by having assault rifles and grenades. Lycanthrope. Half human, half beast. Lycanthropes are also known as werewolves. The type that changes back into a human does not exist in Eglana. They are pure werewolves. They are extremely active and energetic. And Vimana. A flying machine created for the purpose of observation within the ruins. Larger models were once built in wartime, but only the mass-produced smaller models have been found in Eglana. They have poor functionality, bombing both enemies and allies alike. Well, way to judge, Codex Writer. The Kraken. 32 HP, that is many. A giant squid found in the deepest part of the parts of the ruins. They have no bones, but have a very hard surface and heavy weight, and are able to crush enemies with the impact of their bodies. It seems they widely inhabit the depths of Eglana, wherever water flows in from the roots of Yggdrasil. And this dude, Kibera, one of the Lokapala, who once fought as a guardian of treasures. Highly intelligent, he became egotistical and distanced himself from his kind, the inventor of Vimana and Chakram. Soma, a Lokapala artisan, brewer of alcohol. While studying this trade, he ended up creating a sacred wine of immortality. You know, as you do. The sacred wine is sealed away somewhere in Eglana, because, you know, if we could be if we could find it and become immortal, I could get rid of this death counter. Yama. Yama was chosen by the Lokapala to rule over the underworld. However, as a factional head, he didn't have the clout to avoid being cast out from the underworld. Unable to return to the underworld and his power to watch over souls lost, he now spends his days cursing in resentment. Oh, bird. Pebalusa, this... this weirdo. The Lokapala, regard, regarded as intellectually inferior to the other tribes, by who? Created Chimera people to help fight against other races. This one is meant to be a cross between a human and a bee. They've clearly st stuck him in some sort of unfortunate outfit. Probably turn me silent too. Cool, no explanation, just like, yeah, look at this guy in his weird costume. Hero Roderick, I'd forgotten this weirdo. Hero is part of a special rescue unit from the USA. He opened up his own shop in order to survive inside the ruins. He's actually the first person to sneak into Eglana, and doesn't look like he's about to leave anytime soon. Maybe it's better not to bring this stuff up with him. Stuff in the Icefire treetop. We have Garm, a fierce dog that guards the underworld. It has a tough shell running from its head over its back. This shell almost appears to cover it entirely when it curls up to strike with its body. In the underworld, there is said to be a statue of a guard dog based on Garm. Langsure. Vampires transform from women who died during childbirth. At first, they may seem beautiful, but there are large, biting mouths hidden in the backs of their heads. When they feed on blood, they pull back their hair to reveal them. That's... Is that Caribbean myth? Or am I thinking of Suquion? I might be thinking of Suquion. There's so many vampire myths all over the world, I know this well. Anyway, here's Samara. A woman referred to as Spouse of Sir to the Giant. 
Her actual role is to manage affairs until Sutter's power has returned. She is the keeper of the weapon capable of defeating Vidofnir and also guards the entrance to the underworld. Part of her longs for an end to all the destruction. Uh, okay, so Divine Fortress we've seen a lot of, but not all of. Hermont. Uh, wait, no, we did read these. We read, we read those. We didn't read this. Shahaka, a charming woman with an aura of refinement, who set up shop here of all places. She's very particular about manners. So particular, in fact, that she seems to have redefined their very meaning. Oh, can I use that excuse? In the Shrine of the Frost Giants, we have the Yeti. That's so cute. Yeti are cloaked in a shaggy coat of smooth, dense hair that could be mistaken for a single piece of fabric. They will attack you with ice and snow just when you're trying to climb a ladder and it'll be really annoying. Qualapen. Not a sheep, but a cow monster. Its hair has grown to help it resist the cold. It's relatively small for a cow and prances over the snow-covered ground with ease. <laughs> I love the way it's just like, well, it's got... The hair not like a cow, and it's very small for a cow, and it moves not like a cow, but it's a cow! Honest. Unger, boomerang frog, my old nemesis. They look like frogs, but are actually spirits known as rainbow serpents. Okay, told me. The Chimera experiments gave them their arms and legs. In fact, they wield boomerangs with astonishing dexterity. Yes, they do. Zoria. An aurora spirit resembling a human. The aurora that cloaks their bodies guards them against all forms of attack. They strike back by releasing their aurora, at which point they become vulnerable. Baba Yaga! Everyone's favourite bro angry broom lady. Witches said to live in the centre of the forest. They slide across the floor atop ice mortars, using a broom to push themselves along. If you break their mortars, they will become enraged, striking out at you with their brooms. The Morrigan. A goddess of destruction darting across the battlefield. She's a crow that usually takes the form of a beautiful woman with long black hair, throwing her male, uh, male opponents off guard. One of three forms that make up Babka. Nemine. A venomous goddess of war. She spreads fear across the battlefield, turning allies against one another. She's able to discern the souls of those who will die in battle and is gentle to those for whom death is close. One of three forms that make up Bath Car. Dead. A beautiful Lokpala woman who tired of battle and moved to the Shrine of the Frost Giants. It's said that her beauty caused her sworn enemy, the Fairy King Frey, to fall in love with her at first sight. She cares for people more than politics, having little interest in what occurs in Eglana. Threema. A member of the Lokpala who left his former life to live at the Shrine of the Frost Giants. In exchange for allowing him to leave, the Lokapala have him work as the Shrine's caretaker, though that doesn't appear to excite him much either. Uh, moving into Valhatla, so we will have seen some of these, but we haven't seen this. Gandalf, so this is what he looked like before he had his head punched into his body and became our happy ram friend. A warrior of the Lokapala, originally a half-human, half-beast monster with an appreciation of music. Now he's been fitted with mechanical wings and fights with the power of sound. <clears throat> read all of those. Uh, we read that. We read that. We read that. We read that. The Dark Star Lord's Mausoleum. A bar. A human-headed bird which has materialized from the escaped soul of a dead person. It's said they will attack humans until they can transfer to a new body. This is the original from which the Lamilana version was copied. While small, there are many of them, perhaps an indication of how long the Wars of Eglana have gone on for. A basilisk. Okay, it's not a cockatrice, it's a basilisk. Fine. Looks more like a cockatrice to me. A serpent monster that takes the form of a bird. Basilisks are the same as the male cockatrice. There we go, encountered at the village of departure. It's said to suck out the life of its prey, and once drained of its life, its prey becomes like stone. A Scarabaeus. A giant beetle that controls the movement of the sun, or possibly a big ball of poop. The Scarabaeus and Eglana produce spherical heaps of rocks, not poop at all, no sir, which they push with their hind legs. The rocks are not only heavy, they are ablaze with fire. It would be rather dangerous if a Scarabaeus was to knock one down from above. 
Nice head there, it'd be a shame if this beetle happened to it. Aminet, a priestess of the Amana. She is wife of our men of the Ennead. Though the couple are split by their allegiances, Aminet is not involved with the fighting directly. She simply watches over Ra's achievements. In the bit we went into of Ancient Chaos, we have the Ajdaha, a three-headed serpent monster. Its heads are said to be incarnations of death, pain, and anguish. It absorbs these human emotions and releases them in the form of fire. We went briefly into the Hall of Malice and met Mammon, a demon that symbolizes greed, topped off with two bird heads. In Eglana, they are used by the Gigas to guard the Hall of Malice. Okay, that's who we'll be meeting there. They use fire magic. I can't remember if you read this, but uh, moving on to main characters, Alcidana. One of the four philosophers, Alcidana is the philosopher of death. After the destruction of the Lamilana ruins, he settled down near the village altar to live out his days peacefully in his old age. After being relieved of his duties, his life force has gradually deteriorated, and he appears to be embracing his own death. Pro tip, don't do that. We have Samaranta. Only 41, wow, in the first game he must have been, like, so young. One of the four philosophers, Samaranta is the philosopher of strength. He's a greenhorn of the philosophers, and perhaps out of a need to prove himself, takes an active role in leading surveys and restoration of the ruins. He's called the philosopher of strength, but isn't very good at heavy lifting. Wow, again with the judging. Heine. Heine obsessively observed a giant called Argus, who would appear above ground at the village. However, he gave up his observation point to the philosopher Alcidana. Now Heine has teamed up with Phobos to open a shop located in the ruins. I feel like main characters is a bit generous, but hey. And that's everything. And now we can get back to- I'd forgotten just how scar this music was. Didn't really need to kill him, just, you know. You do these things sometimes, and we'll it back in our tent. Yes, and she is asleep. Oh, I wonder what this is. This little cheese puff looking guy walking around under the tent. You think it'd be yummy? Well, I will leave you to that train of thought and not try and eat anyone. Damn it, now he does look like like a what's it? Um Anyway, where are we well where are we going? We have these that we haven't actually read, but we have. Uh Let's go back to the Ice Fire Treetop, given that that's what I put in the stream title and everything. And we've not really explored down there much. Okay, we have this room with the Garms and the Langsias. Uh, yes, this is the room with traces of poison, by which it means if you go above ground it will kill you instantly. Yeah. Okay, I just left that. I probably... Wow. I don't think we've gone this way. What's down this way? Cool, a single pot and nothing else. And people shooting at me from above. They're, that's a terrible combination. I don't really want to go swimming in that lava when I don't have the ice cake. No, 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 no. Game, you know what I just said I didn't want to do? What I did want to do was take that elevator, which you have also deprived me of. So, bad show game. Don't jump into it, yes, it loads into the lava brain. And now, go. Oh, come on! I clipped that.
Oh no. Wow. 55 deaths, I guess. Oh, it's because it checkpointed when I'd already fallen into the lava and was on low health. Didn't notice. Well, let's go and heal, shall we? Seriously, I know I say it every stream, but this soundtrack is really good and I just like it. sucks and can I have the ice cape already or the grapple claw so I can go to places that aren't this don't know what's in that chest but I probably want it and there's a flying death person don't know what's up with that Oh, missed my chance on the elevator there. That was Mushu! Well, that's needlessly pleasing. Oh, game? Inputs, please respond reliably. That's what you're for. Oh, no. Bad timing. Okay. <laughs> Gonna have to walk back and heal again. But I've opened the chest, now I just, on the next time I go up, need to get to the chest. I break that pot every time, there's never anything bloody in it. Probably just a bloody map or something, and yet. It is just the map, but that's fine. Whoa, this is a large area. And we're in Muspelheim, so that's fun. That's a breakable platform, good to know. Good to know. <laughs> You know when it would have been even better to know before I jumped on it. Thanks for the damage boost, I guess. But what's up here? Oh yeah, this is where, isn't this where we came in? And I got the heal. Brahma asked Artum, what is creation? Artum answered by assuming the form of a green snake before leaving for battle. Creation is fighting to protect. Alright. Oh, and that's written by one of the first children. Oh, and that's another prophecy tablet. This room looks too straightforward, and I'm wondering what the catch is. Kill that Mushu, woo, which is, I can't believe it's called that. Oh, there you go. The catch is, uh, I can't avoid bats. The Alpha Seeress's Prophecy, part five, recording it. The sun has no idea of the power it has. The moon has no idea that it has power at all. Dazzling stars remain. Smoke and flame rage. Flames frolic in the heavens for the mighty have vanished. For its true form cannot be seen by starlight alone. Well, when they were saying the prophecy was cryptic and elusive, they weren't wrong. Thought that might have been a trap. Wasn't a trap. That dog was a trap. Eh, whatever. But who's in here? BTK! 
1500 for... No, don't buy this. Okay. Oink. Wait. While I wasn't looking, she turned into a pig. What's going on? It's the pork item shop. I don't know what's going on anymore. Okay, this is the harp corridor, and that hero dude was selling a harp for a thousand, so I feel like we might need that. Wow. Wait for the lift to come down. Do, 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 do. Jump on the lift and go down the thing. It's Muspelheim, everyone. Did we read this? Vedfolnir, a small eagle perched atop the head of a large counterpart. Yes, that's a thing from Norse myth. At the top of Big Drassel, you've got uh, Kreisfeld, who's an eagle, and then a smaller eagle sitting on its forehead. Because why not? Double the eagle, double the fur. That was a pit, I didn't realise. Oh, hey, it's Vedfolnir! There you go, we were just talking about you. Oh god, I'm going to die. I'm absolutely going to die. I'm got I'm I died. Told you I was going to. Oh, and I haven't checkpointed since I got the map. Well, off I go then. No. Nope. Having to wait on this elevator every time is slightly obnoxious. Would love if I had more jumps, but that won't happen for a while yet. But hey, I got that full hail, so. Why do I keep jumping early? What am I doing with my life? Yes, if I could have the feather, that would be great. If I could have the ice cape, that would be great. Both of these things would make this a whole hell of a lot easier. But no. Nope. I love that it just keeps coming up like danger, magma. Like, did you notice you're swimming in lava? Just... Just for the record, maybe we should inform you of that. Ah! And now I need to go back and heal. Uh, see, I'm pretty sure this is the way I'm meant to be proceeding, but it's, like I say, fairly obnoxious to actually do. Maybe I'm just rusty on the old platforming. Maybe this game is hard, who knew? Jump and land. Jump and hit the skeleton, that's more like it. Oh, and then I saw that coming and didn't move. If I pop in and out, it does not re reset the elevator, I don't think. Maybe it did. I don't know. Tested that hypothesis with no actual way of judging the results. Oh, for... Mushu Woo. Stop it. Yeah, no, exiting and leaving the room normally does not reset the position of the elevator. Warping out would, but that takes more time. Stupid bats. I just want to pick up the map. What? I jumped. I pressed jump. That was a button that I pressed. Game, come on, let me do this. Nope, didn't have enough of a run up. And now I need to go and heal. <sighs> Q 
Can you tell how unimpressed I am right now? Because it's pretty unimpressed. Watch this exciting stream in which I try the same set of jumps for three hours. I know how to content. At least I didn't get shot with that fireball this time. Got shot with that one though. Completely missed my jump there. Pronounced it drump for some reason. So many choices being made here, frankly. No, no, no. Why did I do that? Well, at least I came down when the elevator was down there. Ugh. I'm going to try something. Well, thanks for the damage boost. Let's just try here instead, because that room hates me and I hate it back. Ye who seek the icy treetop acquire the power to surpass Nidog. No. Only those who swing around the icy pillar will reach the icy treetop. Well, that makes sense. The branch lands of the third children who were punished for imitating the mother's power lie beyond. Okay, well. Given that we've seen I can't do basic platforming, I'm not going to be fighting Nidog for a little while yet. Wow. And I. And Just don't press jump. Oh my god. Oh and then walk to the wrong place. It's it's all going very well this morning. Why do I keep trying to jump so early? It never works and it's never going to. Lift comes down, lift goes into lava, lift comes up. We jump. We jump. <laughs> we get the map. We go back to the dang checkpoint. We actually manually hit a save because, come on, we achieved a thing. See, how much health do I lose trying to swim this? A whole bunch. Cool, good to know. And then more when I jump into spikes like a fool. Read this, I know I've read it, but this way it's tagged. Getting Mushu wood. And for some reason, I tried to double jump there. Let's go and heal, shall we? At least there's a fairly quick turnaround on going and healing and going back. And I know it's a classic Lamilana thing, mechanic, only being able to heal there. But at the same time, it is always mildly obnoxious. Wow. Okay, guess we're going here.
trapdoor there that I didn't notice, but got damage boost pa boosted past, so it's all good. And only those with mastery of weapons may proceed. Fell what foul weaponry comes your way? What does that mean? What does the skeleton say? Got my hands on a treasure map that read, proceed 50 feet ahead of the sniping spot. And I stop and realize I'm stuck in here. Damn it, that's been a trap. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of skeletons there, so presumably that pillar is going to shoot at us. I mean, I have a shield. I should probably be using more than I am, frankly. Okay, Trapdoor got me out of the second time, I guess. Uh, hail. The progress, it is slow. Back we go. Let's try this again, now that we've got more than, like, 20 health. Might need to lose the shield so I can share it and spam. You dropped your bird! Wow, you have, you have many health. Is this a ladder? No. Not yet, at least. I'm going to die here. I'm not, I'm going to warp out. Okay, so maybe t don't take that on for the moment. Maybe do go down that path to the left, because there was a life seal to hit, I just got foiled by trapdoors. Trap doors, as we as remember here, distinct from trap doors. I could probably make that jump before it goes into the lava on second thoughts, but I here, but here I am. Aha! Blocked him with my shield. Got through there without jumping into the spikes. So we're coming up the house or Lumisa, I guess. That's the floor that breaks. That's the trap door that I forgot about. This is the very simple swing jump I can't make. And then I die. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna switch to Shuriken, I guess. Very valuable use of my Shuriken. Now I think I am actually uh, doing less damage to him now. 
terms of against how much I'm taking. Yeah, this is not viable right now. Game, I just want to make a bit of progression, please. It's for Twitch. And YouTube as well, if you're watching this on the YouTube, I appreciate you. And also, if you're watching this on the YouTube, it means I finally got my act together and edited it. And that'll be exciting. Tell you what I could use. Wrong button. There you go. I, I have sub weapons that can do these things for me. I love that you can throw them forwards now as well. That's an exciting development. I deserve to survive that, but here we are. Well, the aiming on them is not quite where I think it is. Now, which bit is the breakable bit? I honestly don't remember that bit. Okay, cool. Thanks for answering. That's a trap door. I need to... <sighs> Heal up. There's a breakable floor. And there's a trap door. And I need to remember that both of them exist. wasn't the greatest idea. Actually, I only lost like nine health. It's fine. third bit of floor that is breakable. Okay, that gum just fell out of the world. Okay, that opens the box. And then the real question is, can we do this with our shield? The life sigil? Oh, that opens a whole lot of things up. Yeah! And now that you're in a position where I can kill you, uh, I want to find out what you actually are. A lindworm. Cool, there are probably life sigils all over the place. I know there's one in Valhalla. We might go there just for a change of pace. I mean, I know I promised to get the Grapple Claw, and we know that's a nice flower tree top, but it's not linear. Let's try it out, shall we? Yeah, if we can get it down to the bottom level, uh, I think it's Jalandara's room had one. Did, did I press this button? I honestly don't know. No. 
Neighbor acquired. What? What is that? Why has it got a UR on it? What? Have I found a new mechanic I didn't know existed? Uh, let's 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 investigate. Oh, it's just one of the main characters. Oh yeah, she runs the PC shop. Now let's read it. Neighbor is a girl who runs a computer shop in the village. At first glance, she seems cute and well-mannered, but she can lose her temper at the drop of a hat, slinging foul utterances at her customers. Don't even think about touching that thing she holds in her arms. It, um, guys, it's called a baby. That thing. Unless it's not a baby, which I suppose would be more worrying. Yep, that's a life sigil, alright. How the hell do we get up there? We're gonna need the double jump. Well, this field trip has been fun, children. Unless there's a trapdoor? Or a breakable wall? Nope, doesn't seem like it. Oh, cool. Uh, what, did I not pick that up before? I'm confused. Did I have to scan it? Well, whatever. No, wrong buttons. Yeah, cool. I do not currently have a way to get to that. Looks like there's a bit of raised ground there, though. It's probably nothing. It's just graphical. Yeah, it's just graphical. Okay, so where are we going is the next question. I guess we continue investigating the ice fire treetop. path is a land of unruly flames, the searing treetop presided over by the giant Surta. Those not born of here have no hope of survival. And there's a statue that I can't get past. Well, this was all a colossal waste of time. Great. Let's go back and heal. What was that called? Ginunga Gap, of course it is. That makes perfect sense, if you know your mythology, I guess. Okay, so at least we're investigating branches, finding that most of them are locked to us, but hey. We're getting knowledge, which is, I suppose, its own sort of progression. Seasonal allergies strike again. Okay, so up from here is death, right from here is mostly death and nothing, left from here is nothing, cool. Left from here was the life altar and we did that. Up and left, I don't think we've fully explored yet, so we'll do that next. Down from here is Vethalmir, which seems impractical. There's a candlestick of time. Got it. It'd be nice if I could actually get the la lamp of time sometime. Ha, ah, that. Yeah. Correction is fighting to protect. Oh yeah, here. I want to get that prophecy. Because it seems like it's going to be important. I mean, come on. They got a different kind of tablet for it and everything. Got to pay to have those done custom. Okay. 
And then in here was the shop with the really expensive jukebox app. Doop -a -doo. But we get your guide page at least. So it is kind of looking like we can't do a whole bunch here at the Ice Fire Treetop. Maybe. Yeah, and we're stuck over in this left side because we can't cross Gununga Gap. Fighting Vethonair seems... I mean, it's possible that it's very doable, I'm just doing it badly. Tell you what, let's, let's go and heal. I don't know what health we're on, but let's do it anyway. And then, I'm going to give Vethonair a crack and see what I do. But I'm very prepared to bug out if I'm not doing him much damage and he kills me. But I mean, you need to go through those spikes to even get there. It really feels like this is a thing for later. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go back to the Immortal Battlefield. Because I want to listen to some Scar. For one thing. And we can just kind of... See what else we can find, because it's a big place, and I'm sure we missed something. Let's jump down this waterfall, shall we? Oh, hello. I think I saw where something was hidden behind that waterfall. And we did keep getting warnings that things were hidden behind waterfalls. And we don't seem to have been in this room at all. Clashing lands of searing heat and freezing cold lie beyond Nithog's gate. The lands of the peak of Yggdrasil constitute the ice fire treetop. Acquire the power to withstand both hot and cold. Well, I don't think we have either of those. No, I thought that was a breakable wall. Yeah, I don't think we've been over here at all. Because... Hear me out here, the Immortal Battlefield is large and I can't remember all of it. The ship, the ship is known as the Spiral Boat. Seals protect the Spiral of Life and the Spiral of Hell. The two sigils hidden by falling water, one of them seals the Spiral Boat. Oh, was there a life seal on that? I think? I seem to have reached a dead end. Wait, is that a switch? Ha! No explorer is more clever than I! You know what? I'm going to activate that switch, but I'm going to do so with the rolling shuriken and not stand near it. Okay, it's a different kind of trap to normal, and it's it's going to kill me. And actually, they're really not doing that much damage. Basically, I saw an obvious trap, and I hit it, and it was a trap. Who knew? No explorer is more clever than I. I need to warp out there. But I have a lead. Let's f see if I can find the spiral boat again, and also let's see what's through there, because there was another room to get to past all those baul. El baul, which I still find funnier than is actually reasonable. Six hits to kill those. It is in fact seven. Jump down the waterfall. Ah, find the other side of the boat. But in here, uh, can I shuriken that wall? Yeah, I can. 
and it has a sigil. And that opens the box. And I get dropped on a squid. Every part of that plan except the last one was great. Who was in this room again? Oh, this is Hero Roderick. What an odd person you are. Let's see about getting that chest, shall we? Let's jump straight into a commander and get hit, shall we? Always forget they can use ladders as well. The Ice Cloak! Yeah! Oh, and look. Don't we look styling now with our cape? Frosty Cloak of Ice. Wear it to negate almost all damage from falling into lava. This is very, very good. Nope, that was a terrible jump. That was also a bad jump. Okay, sure, whatever. Oh, great. The, you open that trap and it stays open. Heal is appreciated. Stop throwing bombs at me! So I pressed the idiot button and now I'm an idiot forever. Cool, what's the purpose of that trap door? <laughs> I guess if I leveraged it right I could hit that pot, which pots that are difficult to get to tend to have interesting things in. That's my, that's your life lesson for the day. I don't have any full control there. I think I'd need the feather to get a double jump in the middle of it. A path leading outside. However, it leads to a fall off a precipice so that none may escape. Okay. sturdy commanders. Oh, you can just walk through it. And here is a cavern. Oh, there's a mural. The Ennead spoke of searing light endured by the dwarves, of what is known as the Sun. Those who seek must speak the name of Sol. Because again, you just need to know your Norse. And all these mantras are just nouns. Just got an achievement. Don't know what it's for. There's a chest there. Don't know how to open it. Here's a cliff. Will jumping off it kill us? I mean, we had to jump into a pit to even get here, so... Uh... Yellow, I guess. Like every other pit you jump into in this game just leads you somewhere. Rude. I mean, yes, I know I could have gone and saved before I tried it, but... I read this. Soak in the water for your body will be healed. Oh yeah, the hot springs up there. That's... That's very interesting to know. How do I access it? That's a trap door. There's spikes. Time to walk back. And 
shuriken to the wall. Sigil. And jump down again. Oh, no. I didn't realize there wasn't a wall there, and I could just cut the corner. And then fall anyway. And then fall. Oh, no. I've saved it. Don't actually care about killing you. Got a nice cloak. I need to go back and get that mantra, but this time not jump off a cliff and die. That's a trap door. That's not a door I can use. Get the shield back out. Just drop some souls because I'm nearly dead, but it gets full heal. There we go. So, yeah, run through here, grab my mantra. Scan the image. Recorded mantra soul. See this red chest? There, there aren't any re other red chests that I've ever seen. Uh, does this want me to do that mantra? Maybe? This time we choose not to jump off the cliff. Because yeah, I just got an achievement for seeing that chest called How About a Makeover. I don't I don't know what that's about. You know what, I'm gonna check my achievements. I feel like it's in the spirit of Limelana to learn things by looking at the matter. Found a garb chest that needs a special key to open. Okay, well that told me. I mean, we, we kind of assumed that that would need something to open it, because it's a chest. That's how it works. Please be dead. Oh, whatever. Just go away. Going away is the next best thing to being dead. Oh, this stupid room. What is this room? It's the path of destruction. That makes sense. I was hoping that I th that was a trapdoor. Oh yes, this is the Corona Arsenal, which I needed something to do this. What did I need? Oh, the Life Sigil, which I now have. Is this unwise? Possibly. Huh. How do I get to that switch? Because I don't think even the Gale Fibula will let me get down that. I mean, I guess let's test. Why did I decide to trust? Wow. Excellent start. Okay, so I can make it through, but I don't think I can hit a spear while I'm moving. No, do not seem to be able to.
Okay, I can make it even without dashing. I just need to remember what my sub weapon button is. Ha ha ha! Thought that would come down again, and it did. Step together. What does that mean? Ah, I think I need to hit that with a rolling shuriken and at the same time hit the top switch. Ha 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 I am a genius. I have acquired the Chakram, which I remember always being an absolute bugger to use. It's the Chakram. You only have two of them. They do a ton of damage, but that's because they throw it away and it comes back to me. But yes, you have to catch it. I am probably never going to use it. But hey, progression. I can't remember what health I was at, but let's just warp out of here. It seems a lot safer. Now, let's uh, investigate the boat, shall we? That is a one-way door, so we need to come into it from the other side. That's fine, we can do that. If I can remember the way, which, I mean, we've seen me play games, that's never a sure fair thing. Be dead. Oh yeah, this is where they're like, hey, that's your dad's tent, and I don't care because I don't know how to get over there. I think you need the Lamp of Time, which I do not have. Let's go this way, grab a fairy. Kill this girl. Get shot at. Drop onto spikes. Really, all the important. All the greatest hits of me. Tablet there, I haven't read. I have read it, I just died since. Ah, should have jumped. Should have jumped, didn't jump. Story of my life. But it's fine, because now we're here. Ah, so there is a life sigil, but I need to get past one of these flywheel blocks to get to it. For which we need the Cog of Time. Which I don't have. Please leave me alone. I want to be left alone. Do not bother me. I just w want to be left alone. Which is relatable, to be honest. So now I can survive body melting heat. But how does that help me with this block puzzle? Is there a trap door along that top bit that I should know about? Nope. How will we, how will we bestow on those who, who can withstand body melting heat? Which 
which is fine. Let's take the hints and we go through there and up and down. And we drop those and now we can't push either of them. And now what? Alternatively, we push one and we push it on the plate. And nothing happens. And you realise you can't get out back out of the room like this. And I've switched the backside warp of this place to... Th oh, no, no, I didn't have a backside warp to this place before. Ugh. Uh, I can... Go up and cross and up. Can't I? Yes. Another life sigil that I don't know how to get to. I think I need the cog of time for it. Would just love to know how to get me that cog of time. that off there, and then what have you got? Nothing. I think once again I want to be able to pull. Nope, I don't get it. What's down here? Ah oh, yes, that lava room, and then this one-way room. That the gate is open, but I can't get there until I've got into that pit, which I think needs the cog of time. How do you get the cog of time? I don't know. I am once again more than a little stumped. Get here, card blocks. Get here, card Nope, thought there was a little alcove I could step into there. There was not. What's to the left here? Oh yeah, big pit. For which we need cargo time. door so I could get down there. It is not. What happens if I drop down this pit? That takes me here. So uh, I think it's safe to say I don't really get the Immortal Battlefield. There's at least one thing in that water that I would like to pick up. You don't get that from here, do you? but I don't know why. Curry stank, trapdoor that I forgot about. Try that again. Those look 
like a cog blocks also. Oh, I saw something up ahead, didn't I? Yeah. Guide for Cetus, who was that big fish we killed. That takes us somewhere, like a different zone, but without a way to get back down. And I can't remember where. Ugh, let's find out. Oh, it's just back to Anukin, which is how we got here in the first place. does just strike me as rude to have this whole area only accessible by blindly jumping down a pit, but then jumping off the cliff is an instant kill. That... I'm not sure I get the design philosophy at work there. Actually, who am I kidding? The design philosophy of this is, screw you! That was where I got the Gale Fabula. This is where I get hit with a grenade and nearly get blindsided by that one skeleton. And this is where I warp out. Okay, so I think what we do now is look around for some life seals. Let's check out Anu. This is the gate to Shrine of the Frost Giants, I think. Down here is the Aqueduct. Here's the Beer Frost. So, and we've been down everywhere right of that, so. damage boost. That's a trapdoor. Rude. Yeah, that looks... Those three tablets are clearly detailing a kind of three-step process, and the first bit is take the cog of time to the pit, and it's like, how? How do you get cog? in for Manu. That's an electric monkey. That's a trap going that way. Ugh. I need to go and heal. Okay, where should we look around next? Let's check out the route, shall we? I 
forgot, I always forget you can't jump off uh, ladders, you just fall. Here's the golden rock, which we created a platform underneath for reasons that are not clear to me. Ah, oh, but there's, uh, there's the flywheel symbol there as well. Lamp of Time is also a thing I'd seem to really, really need. Input lag, I dislike you. I'm worked out. Can't remember what's up here. Ah, yes, it's this room. And we can't do this until we've got the crap core. And or additional ups. And again, there's the cog symbol. Uh, this is getting a little frustrating, and I'm getting a little tilted, not gonna lie. So I am going to head back to the village. I am going to top off my health, and then I am going to take a short break. I may look up some tips in that break, we shall see. But anyway, I need to go and Take a step away from this for a second because I am getting a little bit salty. Uh, so, I will be about 10 minutes and see you when I get back. I'm going to go and hydrate and stretch and run some ads and all of those good things. Well, one of them is good if you, you know, believe in the ubiquitous encroachment of capitalism into entertainment. So, maybe not that good, but hey. Okay, and yes, I will see you all in about 10. Bye. And we're back. Hello, everyone. I'm back. I'm slightly less annoyed. And we're going back to the Immortal Battlefield, because I looked up a couple of tips, and basically, there, uh, there's some progression stuff where I can just... Just a few things I've not been doing enough. For example, Testing for breakable walls. Knew there, knew there just had to be a reason for this platform. And here's a gate. Wow. The graveyard gate. Okay, well, something else I wanted to check first. Because there's a couple of little platforming bits where my main issue is just that they involve techniques that I never would have even assumed existed. For example, this one. You know how even sprinting can't get you past it? Uh, actually, I'm going to go and save before I try that, actually. Yeah, 
like I say, we've been there before. We don't know how to get past it because even using the Gale Fibula doesn't do it. However, if I do that and then just jump, ah, it's just getting the timing. You need to jump just as the screen come, just as the screen transition happens, so that you can dodge the first few pressure plates. Be dead. And then you need to remember how long your whip is when you want to kill El Baul. Rude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, that wouldn't even occur to me. As evidenced by the way, it didn't even occur to me. Knew there had to be a way through to this tent. Caution carry sank once more. More research papers, which makes sense given that this was their tent. A file about the fifth children. Let's do some more reading, shall we? The remaining survivors of the fifth children are enclosed within the Gate of the Dead. A race known as the Enead, apparently they're sealed off deep down in one of the branching areas, together with their enemy race, the Amana. The cause of their fighting is unknown. It's likely that the Enead are fighting against the Amana because the Amana are looking to seize power. Not yet having spoken with the Enead people, this is all I can say with confidence. Compared with the previous races, it seems as though the fifth children were created to be much more intelligent than their predecessors. One would assume that the mother realised that having too much power had caused previous races to set their sights on the power of the mother herself, and therefore created this smaller, more intelligent race, because small intelligent people never want power. Consequently, inside Eglano, which is filled with an eclectic mix of various races, these people are referred to as dwarfs. However, too much intelligence can also become a form of great power. Well, yeah. Their high intelligence caused them to fear their own mortality, regardless of the fact that they had much longer natural lifespans than we modern humans. So, the fifth children continued their research into technologies and methods for escaping death, as well as for creating life itself. The races remaining in Lamilana created and constructed a massive pyramid and planned to utilise it in an attempt to absorb the mother's power. Possibly seeing these behaviours as a form of blasphemy or sacrilege against herself, the mother used her power to throw the language of the fifth children into confusion. Now unable to communicate properly amongst themselves, let alone with other races, the fifth children started fighting each other and eventually wiped themselves out through war. However, the life-bearing machine created by the fifth children, the Tree of Life, was used by the mother as a tool. She, she was now able to create life and subsequently a new workforce without using any of her own power. Born from this tree of life was the race known as the Sixth Children, who were aesthetically similar to modern man. Having been created from clay, their lifespans are immensely longer than ours. It was these Sixth Children, for whom the influence of the mother was considerably weakened, who began to consider sealing the mother away. Well, alright then. this block puzzle, which, like I say, uh, contains, a te you have to utilize a technique that I never would have thought of using, so. You can crawl from on top of it to get down on the other side. Like I say, is it me or is that not intuitive at all? Now you just want curry. Yeah, well, mood. Simple as that. Ah! Oh, and that is a good weapon. And I think there's a ladder up to this room from the room below it. So let's try that. 
Yep. Why did I not jump there? Just fall onto the spikes. Ha 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 ha! Chain whip! Get used to that sound effect. It's a good sound effect. Because now we have the chain whip. A whip made with chains. Deals greater damage than a regular whip. Because it's made of chains! Literally, this will double the damage of my whip. So, actually have some decent damage output. Now, let's go back and investigate that gate, shall we? I feel like going somewhere new and hearing some new music. I mean, this music is very good. Well, this is visually a lot. There's so much. Ah! <laughs> Didn't expect you to be able to jump through the floor. Asp. Or you, tiny person, red cap. Even with those dead, there's so much going on visually here. The Gate of the Dead was created to seal the Amana. It leverages Mystic Enead means to warp space. It connects the warp space of the Red Gate. Cool, that doesn't really tell me much. There's a pedestal on the roof, and I have a feeling I know what that means. But first, here's Isis. Oh, that's some chill music. This is where we Ennead, who sealed away the Amana for their wicked ambition, live. This is where we fifth children have been exiled to, and where we continue to wage war. Ra, the leader of the Amana, claims to be the personification of the sun, and continues to amass power. Ra and his followers plan to use this power to free themselves from the Mother's influence and escape from Eglana. We no longer have the power to keep them sealed. Why have you come here? To, to, to defeat Ra, yeah. That's, that's exactly why I'm here. Four white seals have been applied to the Dark Star Lord's mausoleum where Ra resides. Break all white seals and the gate to the Dark Star Lord's mausoleum shall open. Two of the seals are in the Unicorn's Room and the Room of Dark Night. The remaining two have been hidden as to never be found. I'm, I'm gonna... Don't tell me again, I have an app. May we, exhausted from battle, have power once again. Dark Star Lord's Mausoleum, the branch in which the Amana reside. The gate that leads there is sealed by four white pedestals. The pedestals levy judgement against those who dare to place things on them. They would only respond to a weight so slight as to go unnoticed. What does that mean? So, oh, this is going to be an actual nightmare to navigate. Great, 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 very cool. Tiny people stop hitting me challenge. A white pedestal lies in the room of the holy tablet. Seek the sigil buried within a wall. Because I'm so good at finding breakable walls. So good. Go through here. Ah. Not ideal. Oh, it's tough. 
Each generation of children has been sealed off into the branches to ensure that they do not allow their respective wars to spill over into the outside world. They were sealed away long, long ago, but now a race of six children known as the Lockapala have taken control of Yggdrasil. We have no intention of leaving this place either. If you plan to seal off Eglana, then I will tell you this. Many things in Eglana have been sealed off with the power of mantras. Most of the powerful mantras are hidden. I know the words used to call upon the mantra of the moon. The word is sun, the moon's opposite. Yes, cool. Okay, so when we... I mean, I assume it will be in a place called the moon altar. Oh, no! Well, let's do all of that again. So yeah, I presume we'll be in a room called the Moon Altar, because that's where all the other mantras have been, I believe. Ah, but now I can't get to its guide, damn it. Lag. in the right space or the task at hand will not work to your favor. What does that mean? There's so much going on here and I understand so little. Who's in this room? It's item. And she sells weights, which I will buy a few of, and an app I can't remotely afford. Everybody in the place, put your hands up. Cool, thanks for dropping your guide page into the void. And it has not come down here properly, damn it. Amen. We fifth children wanted for too much. Power over death, a pyramid that would breach the heavens, and a pyramid that would fall down to earth for the purpose of entering into a contract with demons. Yeah, that is, I mean, that is a lot. Like, I don't like the whole man's reach exceeds his grasp trope. But you've got to admit, that's that's asking for a lot. It would not be a surprise should people with such ambition seek to attain power greater than even that of the mother. It was the Amana led by Ra who sought such power. Nothing happened, as if time itself had stopped here in Eglana. Then, several years ago, various wars began to stir. It was also when Ra began to act. Like him, I control the sun. It may be I whom Ra seeks to turn into a chimera. Okay, there, there was a lot of words there, and I'm just going to leave, alright? Can't get up there without more ups or turning this place upside down. Can't get out of this area by going down anymore. Actually, no, I couldn't use the ladder to go down the same way I came up, can't I? Wow. As uppy, so downy. Set, who was run out of the Anyad, holds sway over the earth. While he may have left these lands, his voice rumbles like thunder. Oh 
there is so much going on here. And the background is making it extremely visually busy and quite hard to pass. And the jump physics are not working with me right now. I mean, I admit that's probably more a me problem. Yeah, the background looks fantastic, it's just what the hell is going on. Those who move the white seal will taste judgment. Those who seek to undo the true seal need only place a slight weight. Ah, that's a grail tablet. Hello. Do want that. Oh my god! What the hell was that? Game? Oops, all spikes indeed. That's a Medjet. There we go. I was wondering what those were. One and one alone survives. You know what? This is so much and I'm warping out because I need to heal. So where do we need to go to get back to it? Well, that failed. No, don't bother gearing up the, the mythic scar music. I'm leaving. I thought I'd already read that. No, I was waiting for that to come back down. It's not going. It doesn't seem like it's going to, which is good, I guess. God, those asps are fast. A white pedestal lies in a room of five statues. Speak the words that represent Ra. So I'm guessing that's the Sun Mantra. He's moving, be whipped. Can't go in rooms while they're upside down, that makes, you know, a certain amount of sense. There's a block pushing platform there, but there doesn't seem to be a block currently. That looks like a whole lot of pressure plates, but guess what? I'm on the ceiling, bitches! Haha! -ha! Ceiling success! Y'all are getting in the way of my ceiling success. So can't read tablets while they're upside down. Good to know. That did something. That was stupid.
That mask was there, same as it was the first time. Come on. Didn't press jump soon enough. Really, it's all going exceedingly well. Stupid reverse gravity tiny man. Now, read the thing. There is a fairy who bestows prosperity. They who bring the treasure fairy, Alruna, will verily obtain prosperity. Okay. Oh my god. I just want to go into the room. <laughs> Why do you hate exploration, weird masks? That one was on me. Some dramatic ass music. <laughs> and flip. I just flipped because the gate was there. Well, thank God for that heal. I needed it. Receive knowledge from the sky people. It's the knowledge of the power of the chimera which allows us to combine our bodies with those of other living beings to attain further power. I've got the head of a bird, Kakor, bitch. Ra has attempted to use this power on his own race, and I've heard that he's used it to break his seals and attain the power to appear here in this land as well. Our power is no longer any match for that of Ra's. Have you come in here intending to defeat Ra? Yes. Ra's final ambition is his own chimerification. That's not a word with an enormous weapon. It's a disc-like weapon known as Aten, which derives its power from the sun. We fifth children received it from our ancestors, who received it from the sky people before them. It's not known how powerful a, ch a chimera comprising a human and this weapon would become. Defeat Ra before they can come to be. Kakor. Can you all just not? I want to see what this does. Do I want to go through here or do I want to flip? Oh, hey, there's a white pedestal and an eye of retribution. <laughs> Which, you know, do you know, I think they might be linked. Um, Glacia Labalas's chicanery is magical. That's a sentence. He will use it to pursue his enemies, even in death. So the moral of this story is, it, kids, if somebody's named after a goetic demon, maybe don't trust them. Just, just watch out. Oh, and now we're back in here. Have you all gathered how immensely lost I am? Because I'm so lost. I don't have a sense of direction at the best of times. Okay, you can't set off those pressure plates by jumping, which is probably for the best, but also would have been funny.
Ja, na. Sen står det här i And we flip. And we hit the Grail Tablet. This is the Gate of the Dead, the land where the pyramid that leads to the sky is sealed. Well, thank God for that. So many options now. And these things are very fast and I don't entirely get them. Again, you give me the you did a thing chime and God alone knows what I did. Aha! This, this has made a block. And now if we flip with this gate that has opened, the block is on the floor. And if we push the block here... Can, can I use the gate? Ah. I may have flipped too early. What happens if I leave the room and reset? Then the blocks disappear entirely. Oh, but now this chest is open. I've got, I've got a map, I guess. My brain hurts. So what's down here? It's the ground table. So if we flip again. Yeah, we should have pushed it before we flipped. top of the block because apparently you can do that and flip it, it comes onto the side that doesn't have a trap door have I left myself enough of a foothold yes thank god and that probably opens that chest but we need to be the right way up to see whether chests are open or not, which is a strange decision if I'm honest. I went the wrong way and now I need to kill everything again. Or be killed, both options looking very possible. I swear to god, if I die right now, I'm actually on the verge of solving a thing. And flip. And you know what? I'm going to get the save just in case I do die. And now the box is open. Kill the tiny man. And get. Yes! Yes, this is very good. I'm going to warp out because I can safely do that now. I need to go and heal. <sighs> but yes, that's an app. I have just enough space for it. An advanced version of the Yagu map software featuring greater details on the map. So you put that on, and you, did you hear that different noise? That's because it forms a set with Yagu map reader. I believe that's why they both got the link icon on them. And when you've got them both equipped, your map actually has details on it. And currently those details look like they're saying how Sadana wants to say something. I mean, I don't know for definite that that's what it's saying, but there's a speech bubble, so I'm guessing. 
This should make navigating a lot easier. Alcidana has nothing to say. This new app lied to me. But still, it's good. It's very good. But what now, I hear you say? I guess we go back to the Gate of the Dead and see what we can actually accomplish. I know how our icon is pulsing in time with the music. That's a lot of doors and people to talk to. And, I mean, it's not going to help with the whole orientation issue. Now, can I use the... Oh. Stood there thinking for too long. Can I trigger that trapdoor from here? No. I think I can get up from... What the hell was that? I don't even know what... Just... Okay, game. Well, while I'm doing stupid deaths, do we reckon I can get over here by sprinting? Just take the thing off. I always forget that vital part of any sprint puzzle. Teleporting ghosts, that's the bit I always forget. The Amana acquired a colossal weapon, Arten. For its bo from its body, modelled after the sun, sprout many arms representing the sun. The body resembles the sun, and the arms re represent the sun. And it's just a whole fractal sun thing going on. New life is created from these arms. And then we open this box, and we find a skull! Is it going to call us dumb and puny? I think it's probably going to call us dumb and puny. Let's find out. The words of Tutu. Wait. Did we... I thought we picked this up somewhere. Did we pick it up and then die and lose it? Yeah, puny one's legless like the serpent. Uh, okay. Yeah, again, there's... I guess that there's all those skeletons that are clearly saying this is a trap. But at the same time, it's a really rude out of nowhere trap. <laughs> I can't go anywhere down there in this orientation unless I just fall down the hole. But I can't do that because I can't get up, so walk back. Of course, the advanced map is not going to help. I already said that. Brian, sorry. You'd think I'd be able to remember the words I've said. For more than a few minutes, but here we are. This is the wrong way. That's about the way I came. this way? Probably, but I need to be able to jump. Ah, 
can jump down this hole. And that takes us back to this room where I have been. Have I been in here? Yes, this is Horus. That moves that central platform to and now I need to flip and take it from the other side. Or is that just going to send the pillar back? Or is this a puzzle? A... Oh, this is just rude. I got a hail. Ah, uh, this is not a hard jump. Why am I making it hard? Not a hard jump. Oh, come on! want to get through this room. I mean, ideally I'd like to be, pro do some progression beyond it, but right now I'd just settle for being able to get past that room. Oh, this is, this is, this is brutal, and I know we're, like, still relatively early game. if the size of the first one then anything to go by. And it really does feel like this has upped the general challenge a bit since the first game, or have I just got worse? Gate, flip, down the pit, left. There we go. Oh, but I want to flip. I want to get in there and flip anyway. Fresh plate corridor, jump and jump and get hit and jump and get hit and jump and ladder and jump and swerve and jump and flip. Kill that guy and left. Break this and flip. Thank you. We finally actually hit the thing. Come down here and We've read that tablet. And move the pillar to the side. Ah, and that will help us get to the white seal, which was down there. And that is such a bloody rude fall. It's just clearly designed to throw you into a bunch of spikes.
there's a seal there I can hit, so there's that at least. The Vajra artifact is the embodiment of the power of weaponry. It brings out the true strength of weapons held. Each t every time a weapon is thrown, its power will manifest itself. Okay. That's the jump button, not the attack button. Is that a katana? I'd quite like to not die. Okay, so it looks like it is the katana, and I've unlocked it, but now I can't get up there. This looks like it's going to be a boss room. Unicorn's room, yeah, that sounds like it. I am in no space to do a boss right now. I realize that your health is very low. And it's not like I'm near a full heal or anything. Yeah, search to do the thing. Which way was the katana room? Not that way, if that's the grout tablet. Yeah. I do not need you knocking me down that spike corridor. room? Ah, oh, man, yes. Being like, well, all we wanted was everything. Oh, that's... The arc on that looks weird as hell. And I know it's just meant to be you're kind of turning the blade as you bring it up, but it just, in the 2D, just makes it look like a big floppy noodle. Big old noodle sword. Anyway, I need to go and heal. Let me see, you don't need to be stylish and sheath your katana after every swing. That is... It's inefficient. See, I'm doing the let's just see where we haven't gone thing in the Gate of the Dead, but it's difficult to tell where I have and haven't gone because of the flipping. And like, it combines poorly with my natural terrible sense of direction. Okay, well this is where I came in, I know that much. What was this way? Especially now that i flipped, I can't go back. <laughs> oh hey, this chest is open. How long has that been the case? Yes! Thank you for... Uh, the greeting, Ashi, and thank you for coming into the stream because it has clearly brought me good luck immediately. I already read that. I thought, is this a trapdoor? And yes, yes, it was. And I can kill those in one now.
tablet says for a white person to seek the sigil buried within the wall, so... I don't know. Let's try this room now. A lot of money, I'll take that. But also I can't get out. This game is fun, it's also very hard and very confusing. <laughs> Christ, can you all hear that engine? My window is closed. I can only apologise for whoever appears to be idling a small airship outside. Just walk into everything. You know, that's fun. Uh, the name of the game, this is Lamulana 2. a very heavily like Indiana Jones influenced uh, archaeology puzzle action platformer. I thought that was the way to the room. Is it down? Is it, is it? Well, I can't remember how you got to the unicorn room. Oh, hey, here's Thoth again. Oh my god, stop dropping me onto spikes. Treasure created by dwarven blacksmiths. The mechanism to it is hidden by the dwarves. This is a thing that happens. Okay, so do I need to go back and talk to Brocker and sit Brocker and Atre about that? I need a block to put on that. That's that's thing one. Here is a room with five plinths, one chest, three masks, and a general sense of ominousness. I'm guessing one of these weights uh, will open the chest and the other four will kill me. If I had to guess. And frankly, I do. Oh, and now I'm locked in. Okay, well, I can see which one it is now, so there's that. This did count me picking up that sacred orb. Yeah, because I was at 128 max before. So, I know what to do in that room now. How do I get back to that room? Because I was just kind of autopilot navigating through space like I do. I wasn't digging this music so much at, at first, but it's, it's good. Shouldn't be surprising, all the music in this game's good. What's down here? Can't get down there. Okay. Trying to drop down the hole. 
Is this where I should be? This is a sorcery. You'd have thought I might have recorded the name of the place where I needed to get back to. But if you thought that, you've not been paying attention to the, every other game I've ever played. Uh, I would take a screenshot of this, but I'd quite like it to be, for, to be the right way up. But am I also right side up? Thanks, Nackbat. Valuable. <laughs> it's like tuned to just falling on the floor. Hey? Eh? But wasn't this a footprint a minute ago? Was that not how I got there? Huh? I am once again confused. But then that's clearly... The purpose of this room is just to confuse me. Okay, so, right. I was misremembering it. It wasn't this room. Was it this one past the gate? Yes, so... If we flip, it'll be this one on the left. Yes. And I'll take a screenshot of that footprint. And I'll walk straight into that guy, very important part of the, of the strategy. And he'll jump off a ledge and die, and that's fine. Upside down! Cool, that was an extremely valuable use of my time navigating back to you just for that exchange. That's so cool. Thank you, Neckbert. Why is this like the only door that's not marked with a speech bubble? Because it's a shop. There we go. Oh, I can buy an app. It's a game. The thing with the games is they usually combine with other software to do things, but they take a lot of memory space. And then I just stand here and get shot because somebody hasn't read my manifesto about not shooting me. Okay, so the unicorn room was the top room, right? So can I navigate to that from here? Can I navigate? Am I going to get killed? So many excellent questions, really. I nailed that jump as well, and then... Rude. Thank you. Very kind of you to just jump off. Yep, told you this was a boss room. And I'm in no place to do a boss right now. But that feels like some somewhere where I can do some progression. So let's see about that, shall we? Because killing a unicorn is one of those things that everybody always loves and has never gone badly for anyone, right? with the katana, that's not what it does. The katana must do more damage than the chain whip, because we're getting Medjed down in, in one rather than two. The trick is just getting used to its attack profile. Yes, but I can't. 
can't get through here, can I? I need to be the other way up. Flippity flip. <laughs> Drop a vase on that red cat. Watch him jump into a pit. Because, you know, he'd eat you. Up and through, because I can do that. Get how to control game. Yeah. Oh, come on! Oh. Well, I got a guide page, I guess. Are those letters on them, like, rarity? Is, is, is my glossary actually trading cards? So I've had ones with R, S, R, and U, R on. Unimpressed. 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 Frankly, I'm mostly unimpressed. Of, oh, wow. Uh, myself. This is... Pretty much 100% my own fault. I'm just playing badly. Hundred and twelve health could be worse. Wow, you do lots of damage. I think you might be a later job. Okay, so that bit of possible progression turned out to be a bit of a bust. So where else is there? I don't know how much of the bottom half of it we've done, and also I still need to uh, find my way back to that room with all the switches. Which, I mean those two objectives could well be one and the same. The answer does not lie with a single footprint. Yes, I know, I need to get all of the Dark Star Lord's footprints to get the combinations of mantras. This is... It's not... It's it's one of the more intuitive puzzles you've presented me with, Lamelana. No, oh, Nephthys! We Ennead and our enemies, the Amana, were originally of the same race. We split apart due to vastly differing visions of the future. This caused even some families to split into warring factions. My brother Set now considers me an enemy as well. He is a violent man. You should stay away from him. I mean, he's literally the god of chaos. I was planning on it. I mean, like, chaos isn't basically my patron in this channel. This is the only one survives. The Room of Decapitation! Possibly the most encouraging name for a room. Okay, so it says only one survives. So if I kill everything, so I'm the only one that survives. One and one alone survives. This is a small hole. Alright, cool. Don't know anything about how to do the decapitation. Okay, so this is uh, the bomb. Oh, this is also the room of decapitation. Okay. So it was the fourth one. Yes? Yeah! Ha 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 ha! I play your game, Lamilana. Oh, it's just one, one alone survives as in only one of the 
pedestals will not kill you. I would think I was making that more complex than it needed to be. Got the Vardra. What does that accomplish? Uh, a ritual object used in prayer to a war deity. Where to become highly proficient with weapons. Well, I do love being highly proficient with weapons. I wonder, if, does it do something to my sub-weapons? I don't know. I should be using my shield one. Oh, it literally shows you which one it is with that mural. Good job, me. I s that is what we in the business call a super obvious hint, and I just completely failed. Oh! That's what the Vardra's doing. Look at me doing cool combos with my noodle sword. Attacking so much quicker now. Does that work for all my weapons? Ah, oh, yeah! That's actually really quite cool. Uh, if you're, you know, easily impressed like me. So I'm now highly proficient with weapons and... Maybe able to fight some bosses I couldn't before? I don't know. I mean... Nithog's always there, filling me with terror. You know what? We're nearly at the end of the stream. Just for giggles. Let's go and see if we and our sweet new ninja sword can beat Nithog. Heal first. And at least now we've got the codices, we can see how much damage we're actually dealing him. Because I would guess that that'll give us access to the other half of a, of um, Ice Fire Treetops on the other side of Ganunga Gap. Which is among the mythological words that's the most fun to say. Give it a try. Ganunga Gap. Do I have a screenshot of this one? I'm going to take one just to make sure. Bad jumping. Good jumping. Full health, come at me, dragon! Nope. This time, let's get the thing out that we actually think we should be using. Why did I jump then? That was a really stupid time to jump. Yeah! Didn't think I'd make that jump. <laughs> Getting somewhere there.
Yeah. I I think either I need to wait until I'm much better equipped or find a new a new technique to beating him. By which I mean an actual technique to beating him. Who knows, I might look up some boss strats. Because those don't those aren't really spoilers, I wouldn't say. nice being able to do faster attacks like that. But now I'm going to save because it is nearly five o'clock and that is the time for the end of our stream and this seems like a decent place to end it. 63 deaths, you know, it could be worse. I don't know how much worse. I mean, I could have just continued to bounce off Nidhogg for six episodes. Anyway, let's actually do the wrap up, shall we? So, thank you so much, everyone who's watched. Thanks a lot if you stayed to the end. It means a lot to me. Uh, in, if you're seeing this, you know where to find me. But just in case, this is twitch.tv slash Saracent. That's S-E-R-A-S-E-N-T. You'll see it on the title cards in a minute. I'm streaming every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday uh, at 2 p.m. British time. That is 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 Pacific. Other time zones are available. And we'll be continuing with Lamilana 2 until I finish it or get irreparably tilted, basically. Uh, yeah. If you miss any of it, VODs are on my Twitch for two months. Uh, but for everything else, you can go to my YouTube. Uh, also, Saracent goes all the way back to the beginning of the channel. So you've got Mass Effect, you've got Pi, you've got Paradise Killer, a bunch of things. Uh, more videos are uploaded. Ir at an irregular schedule, I'll say, because it sounds better than saying I am super disorganized. Um, so, if you want to be notified when more of that goes up, please su uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, the more subscribers I get, the closer I get to having an actual URL I can tell people. Uh, also, you can follow the Twitch to be notified when we're live, and if you think me dying 63 times and incurring the wrath of the gods a bunch uh, is worth your money you can of course cheer or sub on the twitch but you very much don't need to just turn up and hang out and be chill and that's all we really want here if you want to see me in other uh, uh, elsewhere on the internet best place to find me is on twitter at waruce that's w-a-r-u-c-e where you can get updates on the stream and any of my other ramblings about the world there'll usually be some of them uh, and if you want to see me in other projects, check out, they were just talking in the chat just now, uh, twitch.tv slash the Bard's Playhouse, that's T-H-E-B-A-R-D-S-P-L-A-Y-H-O-U-S-E, every Saturday night at 6.30pm Eastern, that is 11.30 British time, where I'm in an ongoing Vampire the Masquerade 5th edition Fall of London Chronicle. It's a lot of fun. We are on a brief hiatus this week, uh, so there will be no show tonight but we'll be back next week, the 26th. Also, you should just go and follow them because they're a cool channel that does lots of good stuff if you like tabletop games and they have a uh, one of their charity events coming up, so you, you all should go and support that. But I think that is everything. So, uh, I will say thank you once again, and I will see you all for more of this nonsense on Tuesday. Bye.